what I'm actually going to try and do, there's no guarantee that this is going to work, but I actually have two muscles with me right now that Jonathan's going to walk around with. But what I want you guys to take a look at is basically they're, they're very thin shelled. And then the other thing you can see on them is they actually have growth rings on them. So just like a tree where it has the annual growth rings, these muscles also get growth rings each year. So I think that's really neat. So what we're going to do with these two guys is we're going to try and see if in the time that I'm actually talking, they'll want to filter. So what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to set up two beakers. Um, I'm going to put algae and hopefully, there's no guarantee this is going to work because it depends if they want to feed. I'm actually going to put them in here. Um, so basically, I'm putting these guys, both of them, in this. Hopefully they decide to open up and start feeding. We'll see what happens um, in a little while. And then this beaker here is actually empty. So does anybody know why I have an empty beaker right next to it? Did you say control or compare? Yeah. So basically that's, I'm showing this because that's the way I also have my tank set up. So basically I have one beaker that's empty just to make sure that the algae doesn't settle out or just disappear on its own. And then one with my two uh, muscle in it. So we'll see what happens in a little while. We'll take a look. So, um, so what exactly do they eat? I already mentioned they eat um, bacteria, they eat particulate matter. Do you guys remember when for a while back Mountain Lake had a ton of algae, it was like really green looking at some point during the dredging? These mussels would have had a field day with that because they love to eat algae and they have a really big appetite.